Hey! Oh, finally, for fuck's sake. How did you get to this? By asking about Lorraine's murder and then jumping back and forth constantly until we exhausted it. Great! Alright, back to the Space Museum. Which is apparently, like, perfectly recreating the Kennedy Space Center. I don't like how that cutscene trigger was buried in a bunch of, like, yeah, like 30 different dialogue choices. It gives me a lot of hope for the future. I wonder who the informant could be. I thought it would be Hojo, but clearly if it's a lady, it's not Hojo. I thought, I, Aaron? I thought it was the guy working in the office next to the pharmacy. We don't need you. No. You're probably behind it all, Dave. Eat your burger, Dave. You're fucking... Frozen... Frozen or burger, whatever the fuck. With Two green lettuce. Oh my god, fucking save the game after that fucking nonsense. Oh, yeah, true. Like... You, like, we... You were literally sitting there reading dialogue for like five minutes before we could figure out how to fucking make them talk. Jackasses. I think uh, this be the lobby first, and yeah, then you go yeah, out to the parking lot. Go outside of the B-she-she. What's the likelihood of the informant getting fucking smoked? Uh, after revealing themselves oh, to be- a... Tony super left when we talked to him! Yeah, he did. He... Oh! Yeah, yeah, he super ran out. He was like, to excuse go kill. me, I need to go kill. Yeah. Like, depends on if- If it isn't- a, if the informant is a girl, then she's gonna- we're gonna get to see her, like, re reveal her face, and then have a moment, and then it's gonna happen. Yeah. And if it's a dude, same thing. I think if it's a guy, he'll do, like, we're just gonna find a corpse. Hmm. Oh man, I hope it's Karen. That would make no sense. It's that traced photo of the Space Center. Yeah! NASA. Oh, by the way, I have some information for you, Wooly. They always say museums are spooky at night, but like, are you ever allowed inside a museum? When you break in, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, remember when you were like, how could we have possibly known how to? That, yeah, that was that was that was that was the CD protection. That was because it was in the manual. Yeah, that was there. That was the old school Merrill frequency. So, of course. Which. Slow Beef did warn me about, but I just completely You've forgot. Super forgot. Yeah. Ah well. Wait, we that were able to just walk in. That is weird. We broke into every other building. Ah, with cops. There's no, there's no fucking. Actually, no, you're not. There's no beyond like locks or security. It's like beyond is like Canada. So who would lock their door? What are you afraid of? Your neighbors coming over to say hello? There must be clues on one of these fucking things. Yeah, we remember that. What about that shit? Oh yeah, that's the golden discs. I love that shit. The gramophone. Did you also go home and read about the golden discs? Because I did. I, I had already read tons about them in my youth. I think they're the coolest. Like, there's all kinds of classical music, and then suddenly, like, just... The pop tracks. Some old down south, good old, uh... Yeah, I think it's Johnny B. Good. Um... The moon corner. Knock over Neil Armstrong! 
Let's go push it. No, Neil's a good guy. Where's the footage of Buzz Aldrin punching out that asshole that was like, you guys faked it? Oh, man. <laughs> Motherfucker, I did not go to fucking space <laughs> to deal with this shit. No time for your trash. Oh, man. It's actually kind of interesting, uh, because you know whenever people talk about the spa- okay! Beyond Kona da. Oh. Shit. That's a- That's a pretty clear fucking message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better, huh? Laser, Laser cutter. cutter. Jesus. Seriously. You know how you, whenever you hear it's about, you know, an event with lots of astronauts, the first astronauts, it's always Buzz Aldrin and never Neil Armstrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because Neil doesn't want to be famous. Right. There's the implication that he just, he kind of, I wouldn't say can't deal, but like he's aware of the absurd pressure and just of to... being the first person to put their foot on an extraterrestrial spot. And he just wants to do science and stay home. I believe it. Be old and shit. Meanwhile, Buzz has got to work it because he's always going to be history's number two. I mean, but he's got the name Buzz. Yeah, that's probably not his real name. Buzz is probably one of those names like Billy. But back in the fucking 40s, everyone's calling each other a bunch of dumb shit. So, so like, if Redwood is the asshole that ran over here and used a laser cutter, it's like, eh, whatever, I don't know. Like if you have to be acting in secret and being all like fucking weird and hush hush, how do you how do you how do you reconcile that? Um, back uh, to the moon corner. No. Try beyond. Okay. Let's look at the other guys. Yeah. Okay. Everyone else is completely fine. Only your heads. Now the question is, where are the heads gonna wind up? That'd be cool. Can't say you wanna end up like this? Yeah, I bet. What about, uh, moving to the other one? Yeah. Uh, what is this? Oh. Oh! Alright. Huh? And we, we found a corpse. Oh, shit! All right. Oh, fuck. That's, that's a pretty extreme that's escalation. super brutal. And it's standing upright. Yeah. That means they must have chopped the head and timed it so that the rigor would have fucking set in. And or propped him up. Wow! Like, if you have the resources to pull this off, what are you worried about? Well, I'm like, further, like, how are you gonna hide that from everyone that investigates this, this entire, like, that's a body hanging out right there. I guess they're gonna hide it. I guess they're gonna have enough people internally in Redwood. Okay, can... you said there was something on the case, or the plate. Someone's attempted a threat! <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh my god. It's not an attempt at a threat! That's a threat! That's the most overt That's threat I've fucking threat. I've seen ever! A plate? Yeah, try the Voyager thing. Plate there. No, no, like the... that thing. No? Like when you examine him, he said something about the plate. Oh! Mmm. Pointing to the solar system. Okay. Did he do this as his head was being cut off? He, like, it would have had. Okay, this is a guy. It would have had to been Ishida. It had. It had to have been the pharmacist, for sure. I think they meant the, the hologram that was in the background of that image. Oh, oh shit, okay.
ジョナサンおかしいぞどうかしたか惑星が一つ多いんだ Wait, what? 惑星が十個多い Planet X? 一つ多いって Planet Beyond? Beyond なんだろうこの惑星 Oh, that's a cool shot Nice shot, yeah これだけホログラムじゃないよくわからん Take it Steal the tenth planet, fuckers Oh. Uh, Your guess was dead on right away. Go, there you go. Oh, and he was a guy, so we found a corpse. Oh, came from what? His, his family crest had nine stars or some bullshit. Wow, we're being attacked by a lot of bloodthirsty fucking flies. In this perfectly air sealed environment, they're imported flies. They, yeah, I was about to say they had to have imported a box of these for this moment. <laughs> wow. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, those aren't mosquitoes. Those are the. Are you serious? Just shoot randomly. Shoot them all, Wooly. Those aren't mosquitoes. Those are those fucking things. Uh, the uh, canine? Yeah, no, no, the, the the one that you 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 fondled Chris for. Oh, the bugs. Oh, shit. But they're being used to attack you. I see. That's why they look like a planet formation? Yeah. Okay. This this was the trap. Ah. How did they get inside the glass to leave that message? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, that is true. I guess so. Well, well, if you guys put on spacesuits, it'll protect you, but that's also gonna. You know? Like, someone's here with a laser thing to cut their heads off. Ah. Uh, doesn't the coral bath use CO2? Canister? Damn it! You should have paid more attention. Okay, I'll try shooting stuff. Let's try shooting stuff. Yeah, just shoot it all. The mosquitoes. Uh, no, nothing here has it. What about the moon corner? It's moon corner. Oh shit! Oh shit! That's the craziest thing ever. You fucking stood still. Is he dodging, or I can't tell? Okay, well. Hey, can you shoot that fire extinguisher? At, which one? The one directly behind him. Yes, yeah, not. I guess he's hiding behind that ladder. Because you're hitting him every now and then. Shit. This is the dumbest. Oh! Okay. I thought you died. Yeah. I think we confused our life bars because it's been so long since the yeah. shootout. It's gotta be the fire extinguisher. Yeah, Matthew. 
There you go. Yeah, blow it up. So there's a moment like this in Danganronpa where they go, Oh, we'll have to use the fire grenades. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is a fire grenade? Yeah. And it's a type of fire extinguisher that's a grenade that you pull and throw into a fire and it and it and it explodes in a, in a foam that outs the fire. Oh, that's cool. And it's just like it's supposed like you can solve it if you had the common knowledge of what the fuck that was. Yeah. But no one does, so what the hell? Backpack? No, all right. I just talked over why the fire extinguisher is not a good idea anymore. Yes, you did. Body? Yeah. You just killed Tony? I just killed Tony. Fucking sick. That's a nice fucking solver right there. Okay, you were clearly supposed to do that. Examine him again? Oh, we can't get close. Damn it. I guess we have to move. Find uh, something that'll give off CO2. Uh, I'm thinking the coral? There you go. Oh man, you're just running around this fucking museum just breaking everything. Using science to save your life. Genius. Hey, you guys need acid. Okay. You know where there's acid at? Inside the blood? In the fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. Right there. You just said it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh, obviously. Clearly. Uh, duh. <laughs> really? Is now the time to Metal Gear monologue about the mechanics of something? Don't stop Ed when he's on a roll. Oh, man. Uh, wrong corner, wrong corner. Corner? Yeah, okay. Oh, now they now they have wisely turned around and left. So that we can get the fire extinguisher. Oh. Wanna take odds on the fact that by the time we turn around to fix to check out the body, he's gonna be gone? Ooh, that's good. Again. I bet you. They're stepping over the body by oh, yeah. right now, by the way. Well, the problem with the frozen or dead guy is that he's tagged. Like, who he is yeah. would be absolutely obvious the instant you took a look at him. Like last time. Hooray! <laughs> but I mean, props to the to, for this to this action sequence for making gameplay out of a bug filter and backgrounds we've already used. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh please, God. You've gotta you've gotta respect it. Okay, we're gonna have a big action sequence where they fight the robo. Bugs. But we have four dollars. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, hey. <sighs> Shinkawa, get over here. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you made that noise. For some reason, I thought like this was going to end with you blowing up the whole building. That would create a huge problem for beyond. Yep. Ishida is an idiot. Wait, are we just gonna leave? Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 
That was a very smart thing to do. It worked out very well for him. I can't believe his head was floating and covered with so many bugs that it looked like a planet. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Also, did, that means it had to be uh, uh, Redwood that like made that blood marking to tell us to look at the planet. Yeah. Like, hey, go look at this. It's a clue. Police knots. Yeah. Yeah. If we had just like left, there would have been no danger at all. Uh, so he was, he was looking to get out of the game. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Or you didn't even discuss the fact that it's probably him. It's possible that we were actually dealing with multiple people here. Ishida was just the one that met us. You think all Frozeners could be a risk? Could they all be programmed to be evil fucks? It's possible, but, I mean, right now I think all we really have to worry about is Tony. Oh no, wait, you did kill a guy who's probably not Tony, so... I hope yeah. we don't get into a giant end-game gunfight with Prostaclones. See, you hope you don't? I really hope I don't. You don't. Do not. I played it, man. What? How did you do that without him noticing? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Also, wasn't it a smokeless cigarette? Yeah, it starts to burn, though. I guess I thought okay, that part was Okay, if he was, was wearing fake. the same suit... Alright, here's what I think happened. Ishida was it the whole time, and he was killed nearly immediately after we talked to him. Right? The person who called the us... The, the lady was sent us to the trap yeah. and was probably Chris. Yeah. And then they just propped his body up where it was. For he, funsies. But he died super quick right away. Yeah. I believe that. That's another, like, Danganronpa thing, is like, just because you find the body, you assume that the person died as soon as you found them, and, yeah. it's all, and like, not if the person, not if they're propped up and- Oh, that's a classic mystery thing. This yeah. person's actually been dead for 20 hours! Or whatever. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> gotcha! What the fuck?! Ah, that's Tony. That's Tony. Yeah. God damn it. Let's get him. Guys. You, guys. Didn't, you didn't even check the... Guys. What? What? Oh, jeez. Talk, talk about what the case. <laughs> talk about all the case. Talk about where your family lives. Oh boy. In the tracking device you clearly put in your car. Why are we just gonna or slash bomb? Oh! Shit. Whoa! What? Whoa! I take it all back! They saved their four dollars and they put it into this road. Oh, that looks like goddamn shit. Still, we got a whole 3D road shootout moment. That's cool. I'm impressed. Kill that motherfucker. Damn it. Tony, you bastard. Uh oh. Careful of that shit. Jesus Christ! Are you even hitting him? 
Yeah, he's losing life. I think the life is your life. I can't tell anymore. Then, then... Yes, we are progressing. Although, leading him into a, into a, a fucking thing would have been great. I want him to serve into a truck. Yeah! And then get blown up so that the case is over. <laughs> Don't kill any of those nice nope. civilians! Nope. There we go. They're friendly. Oh, that's... Uh, that's cannon! He's taking tons of shots? Yeah. Yeah. He's got lots of life. Yeah, back up! Oh, those police knots are doing their crazy bullshit again. See, turns out. Oh! Turns out when prisoners get crazy high as balls on K9, they become invincible superhumans. Yeah. <laughs> or some shit. A lot of gas trucks this time of night. Yep. Like a frankly absurd amount of gas trucks. It's kind of crazy how much. That's weird. So he's going. He's got some sort of armored, armored suit. Hey, hit the wheels! There you go. Uh oh! Counter steer! Counter steer! Don't try to correct for it. Swerve into it. Yeah, you can't catch up. Forget that. Jonathan can. No way. He's a bred superhuman. Also, the fact that we killed one and there's another one here means, yeah, Tony's got his other fucking... He's got his freezy pops his, his, helping out. His Frogurt crew. Oh, no.